Okay, guys. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. Guys, let me just change the lighting again. I can't do this before it connects because it never lets me. There we go. Okay. First off, I want to explain something. You may notice the water looks a bit blue. If you guys remember the bomb I did the other day, um, well, I actually did the bomb and then someone knocked on the door or something happened. Anyways, I went downstairs and I never left the water, or never let the water out. So I got, um, a nice blue stain right exactly where you see all the water. But I gotta explain something to you. My bathtub is not like a normal bathtub. It is a very, very old bathtub where they've actually spray painted. Instead of actually re-enameling it the proper way, they have uh, spray painted it. So if you see all the staining and all this stuff, like this has got to be over a 40-year-old tub. Like all this stuff needs to be replaced. I've cleaned it and it's it, like that's as clean as it's going to get. I might get a bit of a shine temporarily, but if you see even down here, if I can show you that, that's actually a bubble. Of paint that if I scratched it would come off and the old paint enamel would show so um, the fact that this isn't like like I can do this and I can feel the paint the fact that this isn't um, raw enamel showing like it is up here um, a normal bathtub wouldn't stain because I've done these bombs a thousand times in the sink and the sink is like brand new sink so it's never stained so it's just I'm sure it's just the enamel or the lack of enamel in this tub but also, I wouldn't suggest leaving your bath water in your tub all day because that can't be very good for anybody's tub. So this will eventually fade, hopefully. And like I said, I cleaned it and everything, but what can you do? That's the, that's the life you deal with when you test in your tub and you have an old crappy tub. So anyways, on that note, I told you guys I was going to do my birthday bomb yesterday but i didn't get a chance to it was too big it cracked on me i told you what happened turned the fan off the kids we had humidity and the kids decided to do laundry and the basement got all humidity so this bomb of course it's mine cracked to the seam part of that being is i didn't pack it enough it's not it was very lightly packed i don't think this one's gonna float she's too big very heavy she's got to be about 13 maybe yeah about 13 ounces i think it was so i'm just gonna put it in and we're gonna see what's gonna happen and holy crap she floats <laughs> yay uh, 13 ounce 14 ounce bomb is floating in my tub i am impressed so anyways this is that new technique that i i was working on the other day um and now you get to see how a full-size brill bomb would actually work if I can stand up, maybe you can see this better. Ouch. That's what you get going on in the tub. Kind of funky looking. This is the Palm Noir. This is the one that makes the bath water. Um, like black pomegranate. <sighs> wow, I can't believe that big boy's floating. So this is the exact same colors design technique as the balls I made, or the flat ones I made. But this is round. The round ones will probably perform differently, obviously, like this one is. It wants to stay in the corner. Let's just move it over there. This big boy had embeds as well as the normal colors. Oh, the smell is amazing. It smells like, kind of reminds me of like that palm drink that you can get you know that palm it's shaped like a palm the ball and the little ball pomegranate juice that's what it smells like fruity sweet but not too citrusy a little bit of citrus but it's very fruity and very oh very nice i don't want to mess it <laughs> it's kind of endo i think is it yeah it's in there weird okay so the embeds are going to start coming out that's where Oh, that smell! Oh god, and then there's the water color, if you guys can see the two-tone. Probably not so good. You might have to turn the stuff up on your, on your phone. But see, so you get the bubbles and the foam. It'll fizz faster because the way it was made. If it didn't have the slower, or the the technique with the faster fizz in it, it would be a lot longer of a bomb, like my normal bombs. But the fact that this is done with two different recipes, so to speak, um, that's why it's faster. 
That is a perfect color for Palm Noir. I am so happy with that. And the blue is pretty. Oh god, that blue is pretty. So that's pretty neat. If you can see the foam action too and the fizz. Look at that cool little thing. Oh my god. Yeah, that is like bath art. That is pretty awesome. I'm liking that. So there's the big, big picture. <laughs> I call it the big picture. Yeah, the green's coming out now. I know the bomb doesn't ever look like it's got green in it, but does it ever? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, now I don't know if you guys can see the water back there. I don't know if I can zoom my camera. My hands are kind of wet. Hang on, let's see. If I can zoom. You guys see how there's like the line of water and then the color is just underneath? Um, yeah, so the water underneath is your palm noir, which is um, black pomegranate. And it's the last little tiny green piece, isn't it cute? So there. This is a palm noir, and that's, see, my hand's at the bottom of the tub, and I can't see it. Come up a bit. There we are. Go back down. Oh, that smells so good. And then I dig it up. No stain. It doesn't stain your skin or anything like, see, I can get the color up of my hand. It's not going to stain. It's not like that at all. No staining whatsoever. It's just, just like I said, I left it in the tub too long. All afternoon, I should not have done that, but there's your really cool, cool Pob Noir dark color. And guess what? Someone I know is getting a sample of this. Someone I know who just ordered some bling bombs off me. I threw in a few goodies and I gave you a little tiny, well not tiny, I gave you the cone shape. So you're going to get a sample of the Pob Noir and a few other goodies in there, so I hope you like it. The smell alone, I think, is yummy. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go jump in this beast now. After, shall I add some bubbles? Yeah, we need bubbles. We need bubbles. Look at that black water. Whoa! That pressure is so bad. I love the purple. I love that purple. Oh, my God. It's so pretty. Actually, while I'm here, might as well use this. Oh, that's cold water. Might as well use my bubble bar. Now that's way too freaking hot on my hands. I'm not crushing this one, I'm just letting it go. for water pressure. There we go. It's the best I can do it right now. Alrighty. Thanks for watching, guys.